Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And I'm here today to review the TenMars 3-axis RF field strength meter model TM196. And this has a range of frequency from 10 megahertz through to 8 gigahertz. And I found the field meter to be very, very useful in researching the area that I go into, which is wireless radiation and human health. And I've actually been able to very well characterize my home using this meter and my outdoor environment. So it's extremely useful for that purpose. I actually live quite close to cell phone towers. So uh, it definitely within six to seven hundred meters of cell phone towers that will pick up the energy coming off those towers both inside and outside the home. So let's go through the features of the meter. I mean, right now we're actually reading millivolts per meter and we're actually getting in the region of about 38 millivolts per meter and we're on the instantaneous reading setting. Over here we actually have a bar graph. This bar graph will record the instantaneous value in real time and down here we actually have a clock. So the features that it has are quite good and if we go down here to this unit button we can actually change the units of measurement. So the first press gives us amps per meter, the next button gives us watts per meter and the last button gives us watts per centimeter. And now we're back to millivolts. And all those other ranges are actually calculated from this value. So it doesn't actually measure those other ranges. It just simply performs the volts per meter measurement and runs a conversion on that value. So I always use it in the volts per meter mode for that reason. And you can also uh, record the maximum value. So we just switched on max. And as you can see, the display is now recording the maximum field in the area that it receives. The next one gives you an averaged value. So it, this setting will rule out any spikes. So it's basically filtering any spikes that may be in the area that may upset the reading. And then we have a max average. So this is a very smooth version of the average. And again, will eliminate many of the spikes that may be in this particular area. If you hold the button, it turns off the settings and we're back to the instantaneous values. It has a 200 memory on it, so you can record 200 values that you record when you're out in the field. And it uses 9 volt batteries, and in the manual it says it gets like 15 hours on a 9 volt battery. What I've actually found is you get a few hours out of a Duracell 9 volt alkaline battery. And they do supply it with an adapter that plugs into the side here. So if you're doing any long measurements, you can actually just simply run it off the mains adapter, which is much better. And I have to say that I do actually recommend this meter. So if you are thinking about purchasing an RF field strength meter, I can recommend this. This has been very, very useful to me over the week that I've used it. And I have many videos showing this particular meter in use on YouTube at Stephen McGee Books. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.